We're here in Gowrie Creek in Toowoomba, where the East and West Creeks meet, where most of the devastation took place back in the early January floods. But just a kilometre up the road at the Newtown Lions Football Club, they're all banding together for an annual rugby league knockout that will hopefully raise some well-earned funds for the flood relief. Let's go and take a look. We've come at a tough time where we're really looking at uh, the guys have been through a lot with the floods and this is really lifting the spirits of the communities. Yeah, look, I, I just want to take my hat off to uh, the committee. They, uh, the Warriors, the Drayton Warriors, they've shown real leadership in this community. Um, what Couldn't be at a better time. Uh, we've, we've been through some uh, terrible times with the flood. There's been tragedy with human li life lost and this couldn't be a better time to have a successful event like this in our region. I, I'm, I'm really grateful that uh, the boys are persistent uh, and they're consistent with their efforts to put on an event like this. Um, it is definitely does show real leadership in the community. <laughs> this event really helps people get back to some sort of normality, take their mind off the things that are, that are in front of us um, we all know that we've got to go th work through those, but I believe that this is a very, very important event to help people recover as part of the recovery process and getting, getting their lives back together. Toowoomba went through something you know, pretty, more, pretty much more devastating than what Ipswich went through with the big tidal, tidal wave, so it's good to get up here and see all the followers come out and support, and it's a pretty big crowd, so... Yeah, you know, it's good, you know, you've got to take your mind off the floods and a few other things and what better way to play rugby league. I'll tell you what, there's no, no doubt about it, um, there's some talented young Murray kids running around, they, they're um, just absolutely brilliant. Uh, obviously it's about opportunities in your life, um, it depends how you go with it, you can take, grab them or you can sit back and let other people, you know, try and do it for you, but um, it's about, about having a go in life and, uh, you know, these young fellas here are out here having a go, probably for the first time playing A grade. I mean, some of these kids are probably 17, 18 years of age and playing against men, but um, they're having a chop, mate, and that's what it's all about. The, the camaraderie that's here, the, the, the get-together, um, the community help, the community spirit, I mean it's just, um, it's nearly unbroken mate, you know, like it's just something you'd never, you'd, you'd have to, you've got to go and see it to believe it, it's, it's that sort of, you know, that sort of community spirit. We've got a um, team of volunteers and that, we've got a big stage behind us, all the boys up there today, and we've got um, Kevin and Megan and Laurie and Louise on the committee, and me and me and Trish, Tom and Trish, and Alfred and Kylie. There's eight of us. And we got to go together, and a few people, people, other people help us out during the day, and that's so it's good. And with the, the eligibility to play in the knockout, you also allowed for non-Indigenous people to take part this year. Yeah, there's you, you can have people one in the side. You can have Queensland Cup players. You can have NRL players if you wanna. But just uh, and uh, White Fellas, Black Fellas tournament, we don't care. We don't care who plays in our knockout, as long as all we all the community. Yeah, we'd love to see Preston Campbell. Every, everybody loves Preston Campbell up here in Toowoomba. We'd love, love to see him and David Peachy come up and any, any other NRL players want to come up and enjoy, enjoy the day like today. Meet, 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 meet every mob here and be good, be a good day.